Hello and welcome all of my beautiful vibrant souls who are Virgo suns, have big Virgo placements or are cross watchers for Virgo. Welcome to your month ahead general messages looking at the month of June 2024. If you are interested in love messages, I now have a new tier on my Patreon. I always want to say peer on my Patreon and I know it's not it. Tier on my Patreon um, that is devoted to month ahead zodiac love messages. So um, feel free to check that out. That is linked down below. Um, yeah. And you can watch for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever tickles your sweet little fancy. But those will be linked below. I also have openings for, um, currently I have openings for personal readings. Uh, sorry, I like had a little itch. <laughs> <coughs> so if anything we are talking about resonates or you want further details about your specific month ahead, um, the link for booking is down below as well. And yeah, feel free to check that out. So with that, let's get started. Uh, it is absolutely this one. Ooh! Okay, I love this. Your theme for the month ahead is abundance. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, and we have music at the bottom. Whenever this comes up, this for me means being in resonance, in harmony. Um, some of you, if you're musicians, you are going to get an abundance of attention, especially because we have the loot here too. An abundance of attention, an abundance of appreciation, of love. Um, but in general, this means that you're finally in harmony to receive some type of abundance, right? You've come into alignment in your internal world. Your external reality is now like, you know, aligning to that. So this is going to be a month where you see evidence of that. You see signs of that. So let's get more details because I already really like this. Oh, two of cups reversed with love. Some of you have been dealing with some difficulties in love, and that's kind of been part of this alignment process. King of cups. Okay. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the three of cups with abundance again. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm seeing several things. We have the hang fan at the bottom in reverse. Pisces energy, all water so far. Um, and I cut the deck. We have the page of swords and then the sun in reverse. <clears throat> so it feels like I'm seeing kind of one of two major themes going on here. For some, you have been going through the loss of a relationship with the Two of Cups in reverse, right? You've really had to, and we have full moons on all these cards. So again, there's um, there's some type of like wrap up culmination. This difficult period in love has been meant to help you grow with the King of Cups into this very spiritually wise, mature person at an emotional level. Um, and it feels like this is going to be a month where your cup overfloweth but it usually it might come from more of like a space with friends especially that page of swords poking out you might have a lot of um activity with like online friends you might have more of like a vibrant thriving online community and that's really where you get your support from um you might this might be a month where you're going out and you're celebrating a lot your accomplishments are being celebrated i do see that um <coughs> excuse me sorry for some, you are you are taking steps to leave behind a relationship that you um, have felt. I'm getting the word toxic. Um, I don't use that lightly, but for some, it's like you've it's been hard. You wanted to leave the relationship, but you've had to extricate yourself slowly. That's happening this month, and there is this energy of celebration, right? Because the King of Cups in this deck has the crab here, so it's very Cancerian energy, and it's making me think of being very protective. Um, and there's a sense of freedom and leaving that behind. But there's a lot to celebrate. Uh, now, for others, there is somebody who you have had to separate out from in the past. This is for emotional growth and evolution. With a hanged man reversed the bottom of the deck, one or both of you has really had a pretty big shift in, yes, perspective, but I'm getting belief, belief system. And this is what's allowing you guys to come back into union. This person's coming back to you with a king of cups, like incredibly emotionally mature, um, and because the Three of Cups can indicate a reunion, right? It's a celebration. You might be being invited out. You um, you might be friends with this person or like have remained friends after trying to have a relationship. Some of you, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, my allergies. For some of you, this is somebody where the romantic aspect of the relationship didn't work out, but you are having... Um, you're able to be wonderful friends and that feels really good for both parties, right? It's like all's well that ends well. Um, but there is a sense of reunion here with the Three of Cups where this person is coming back to you um, with that kind of that crab and that Cancerian energy. The Two of Cups can also represent Venus and Cancer. This person could be a Cancer, um, but this person is very, I almost want to say the word wholesome. This person's very loving. This person's very... Um, 
emotionally protective of their feelings. They're very protective of the ones they love. They're very um, pure hearted and they're like, they're very deep and sensitive. They got that squishy little meats um, under their, their shell. Um, they're very deep and sensitive and this might be something you haven't seen much of from them. Some of you may have developed the friendship aspect of your relationship, but not as much the romance, not as much the, um, you know, the sensuality, the closeness, the intimacy um physically and emotionally um <coughs> excuse me but especially emotionally <laughs> um and this is something they're coming back to make changes about so there will be a lot to celebrate this month but i want to get more details can you clarify the two of cups in reverse for me spirit that's this one wow the king of swords okay I, I love that we're having king energies come through here very mature very wise clarifying the king of cups we have the ten of pentacles what what? And clarifying the Three of Cups, we have the world. I love this. I want to look at this card, but not take it. Ten of Swords with Ruin. You've been through some stuff. Are you okay? And there's that Page of Swords. Okay. So if this is talking about you, a lot of you guys have been through some pretty shattering heartbreak with the Two of Cups in reverse. And, you know, this is usually a relationship, but this also is just anything we pour our heart and soul into, right? If it's a job, we really put our everything into it. We put, it's kind of this vibe of like, you know, we, we put all of our eggs in that basket and it gives back to us, right? It, it feels like a reciprocal, secure place to um, really park our hearts. Um, and this has fallen apart. Sorry if you can hear my stomach rumble. <laughs> this has fallen apart in the past, right? This has not panned out. And in the process with that King of Cups, it did really help you grow a lot emotionally. And with the King of Swords, I feel like it also revealed to you um, things that were in your blind spot. The King of Swords, I call him the man with the plan. He looks at everything before he makes a decision and he tries to make the best choice for all, for all possible parties involved. So if this is you and, you know, because he's heading straight toward the Ten of Pentacles, this feels like... Like whatever was lost to you previously helped show you your blind spots, helped show you what, you know, like your weaknesses, um, helped show you where you were susceptible to heartbreak. So you could build with this 10 of pentacles energy, this generational wealth or this like long lasting stability, this longevity in your life. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And just because we have two people here. Um, this could be in relationships where it showed you like what you actually need and that's what you're going toward and attracting. Um, but there is this sense here where I feel like that's the cycle you've been on, right? And so if this is you, it feels like you are you are manifesting some sign this month with abundance that you you're getting your 10 of pentacles, whether you get it this month, because it is long lasting, right? So it tends to unfold over time, whether you're getting it this month, or you're kind of like, this is where, you know, you're recognizing your worth, perhaps, because it's clarifying the king of cups, you're seeing the wealth of your experiences and being like, oh, you know, this actually helped me become ready for this and this and this, um, whatever you've had to let go of or hasn't panned out in your past, you're looking at it and being able to see the benefits from it be able to see the lessons from it be able to extract the wisdom of the experience that's very much that king of swords energy as well extract the wisdom from the experience instead of focusing on the wounding of it that's more of a knight of swords thing to do that's knight of swords energy um and it feels like as a result you're especially because this king is in motion right usually shown sitting on his throne but this king is in motion it feels like you're <coughs> taking steps this month toward whatever your idea of long-term stability and happiness and abundance is, right? Um, and you're starting to see that pay off very quickly. You're starting to see it like rapidly manifest, right? So there's like, like, let's say you realize, um, you know, you pour everything into a job that you love and it falls apart. It just doesn't really like come together. This is where you're recognizing what about that situation, you know, like drew you in what was working what didn't work and you know allows you to like go for a different job or switch careers entirely or work for a different company or something like that and you take steps this month <clears throat> and it already kind of manifests like something right you get the job um you find the perfect fit in terms of like a company you want to work for right it doesn't have to just be romantic though there is a very heavy emphasis on romance here <clears throat> for some of you this is like trying to create stability and community surrounding a romantic relationship and instead you're really creating stability and community when it comes to friends right and and family to a certain extent and it's like that's really where your your long term is 
Um, and like I said, for some, if these are steps you've already taken, you're really looking at your life this month and you're having like a lot of full circle moments of being like, I did that, I made that. Um, your efforts and your experiences have not been wasted. And that's where we have this energy with the world that um, something is coming full circle. Now, if this is somebody from your past, I feel as if that, you know, there was like a separation, things just never really quite came together with them. Um, there may have been a situation with the Two of Cups in reverse of like, a lack of reciprocity you may have thought this was even unrequited love this person's coming charging back um for with the three of cups the, like that reunion energy what happened with the king of swords and again because he's running toward the ten of pentacles um is that this person maybe it was the separation maybe it was other things maybe it was a combination this person has had a wake-up call many breakthroughs possibly three major breakthroughs um, that have really shown them what stability looks like for them. They may have had a breakthrough with their finances and that's what was holding them back. But I feel for many, this was a breakthrough in what stability really means for them, what abundance is. Um, and it feels like they've recognized that it's you, it's connecting with you, it's loving you, it's building something with you. And so a major cycle is closing out with this person as a result. Now, for some, this could be somebody where you try to make it work as a relationship and it really, you guys are coming into that awareness that it really just works better as a friendship. And there's a, there's a recognition of that with these two cards where this person is grateful and appreciative, sees you as a valuable asset in their life, possibly even wants to start a business with you. Um, so it like starts off as love, doesn't work like that and wants to start a business with you instead. This person wants you in their life long term and they're, it feels like they're going to be talking about that. Um, I want to kind of pull, I want to pull one clarifier for these two cards. If this is like a, like was a love and because of a different type of relationship. Ace of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person had a very narrow perspective of something. And now that they've been willing to contemplate other ideas, um, they're willing to see you differently, see themselves differently. They're willing to think outside the box is something I'm getting. Strength. It feels like, it feels like it's something that you couldn't tell them, right? The King of Swords can be kind of stubborn, honestly. You couldn't tell them this before, right? They really had to see it, and it feels like it was a game of patience. They had to see that you're you're not going anywhere, that they their feelings about you aren't going anywhere, their appreciation for you isn't going anywhere. Some of them, they weren't really fully seeing your value or your long-term stability, because they cut the deck and we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So they may have just thought that you were like there for a little bit, and now they're kind of like, oh, that's not the case. And there's that Nine of Wands with strength, interestingly enough. So this person wants to fight to keep you around, if that's the case. Now, if this is a love that this person wants to reestablish, I want to see. Yeah, there's the Three Swords. Um, we have the Three of Swords with Sorrow in reverse. This person misses you. Queen of Wands. This person's very drawn in. You know, the Queen of Wands to the King of Swords are like an opposites attract kind of a thing. This person's very drawn in to your intuitive side, your spiritual side. They're very drawn into the spiritual side of this connection. They may have been discounting that before. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups reversed and the Moon. They feel like they need to see things through with you. They need to reevaluate things and revisit things with you. Like it's something that has to happen. And I feel like they were fighting their intuition before and they're not now. The six of wands in reverse with victory because they kind of realize that being separated isn't really helping anybody. So these are really positive. It feels like an abundance of love and connection and the feeling of stability and self-appreciation for you guys this month. Um, so that is everything I've got for you guys for right now. I hope this has been helpful. Um, again, love messages will be available on my Patreon and I hope to catch you guys next month. Take care. Bye.